So today we have Coach Heimerman talking about a preview for this weekend's meet um, in McNeese. This this is going to be our kick kicks off our outdoor season um, on Saturday. And what are you looking forward to about the first outdoor meet of the season? Well, we're just excited to be outdoor. I think track's really an outdoor sport. Uh, so with it being our first outdoor meet, it's, it just kind of kicks off the season. Uh, just looking, uh, we've been training really, really hard the last few weeks since we got back from indoor conference, and uh, we're kind of training through this meet and you know building up towards towards May. But uh, we're just looking to get outside and have some fun. And since this meet is going to be very, um, very em a strong emphasis on Louisiana teams, so what do you kind of expect to face like uh, against the Louisiana teams and for the preparation for future meets? Um, for example, Louisiana Monroe uh, last chance meet and an R meet and also LSU's meet, that's in Louisiana. Well, yeah, you know, it's going to be great competition. There's a lot of good schools in this uh, in the state, so uh, there'll be plenty of competition for us. It's a relay structured meet, so there's a lot of different uh, relays that we normally don't run. Uh, not so many uh, individual events, but more uh, uh, team structured, the relays. So it'll be fun running some relays. We're going to try to break some school records in a, in a couple of them, let the kids uh, go for, uh, see if they can put their name up on the board. Uh, I'm not so much worried about the, the scoring structure because it is a scored meet against the other Louisiana schools. But uh, we're just going out there really kind of competing against ourselves or the, or the tape measure of the stopwatch and uh, just going out there to really kind of you know, get the outdoor season kicked off and just have some fun. And, we, and since we have, we actually have um, a total of seven records, four records in the women's um, and three records in the men's in this meet. So you said that you coming off about your point about um, setting um, re records, are you trying to kind of set um, break the records of pre-existing records or also just setting new records in general? Well, some of them are, but you know, some of them are just the relays that we don't get to run very often. The four by eight or the sprint medley or the four by two, we don't run those, but maybe twice a year. So it's kind of, that's what I'm talking about, those records, because those, are, those aren't events that we get to run every weekend. Like I said, just twice a year, so we're kind of geared up to run towards those, and uh, who knows, we do have some of the meet records in a few of the other events. We have a very talented squad, so uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if some of those come down, but we're just kind of really, you know, I'm not saying emphasizing the ones that uh, I just mentioned, but, you know, if, they, if we break them, great. If we don't, you know, we're just looking to go out there and have a, a good meet and uh, come out healthy. And for this meet, since it's also, as you emphasized earlier, emphasized it's a relay heavy meet. So, and and the Texas relay is coming up very soon. So, how does this help prepare us for Texas relays and other potential uh, relays in the, in uh, in the in upcoming kind of season? Well, it just kind of gives us an opportunity to qualify for Texas relays. Texas relays is as a qualification meet. It's a meet that schools from all over the country, not just you know in our region, but East Coast, West Coast, even up north, South Dakota, North Dakota State come down. So it's you know it's all over the it's a countrywide meet. So some of the best teams in the country will be there. So it's really hard to even get into that meet. So it'll give us an opportunity to try to qualify for a few of those events that uh, you know that we talked about the four by eight or the four by two sprint medley and uh, events like that. So you know we're just going to go and hopefully have some good weather, run some fast times, and uh, see if we can uh, make it in Texas relays. And, and I, I would make sure that clarify that every track and field um, individual should be running um, this weekend. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot on the team, and just about every athlete should be running this weekend. Uh, there might be a few who don't, but there'll be just about everybody will run this weekend. And how, and for, for the new, the kind of the new additions, especially with um, the javelin and the distance throwers, they don't, they don't, they don't get to do the. Um, do what they do in, indoors. So what for them? It's it's basically the start of a new season for them. Let's, so go ahead. so what what do you want them, like what do you want to expect from them and what do you hope to get out? Of them? Well, I'm hoping for some good weather first off. The weather doesn't look great, but you know it's their first meet to get, do this event. I mean, some of the disco throwers, you know, like Kyron or Corey, have done indoors, so they've been to some meets. The javelin throwers, they haven't been to a meet yet. So they've been training since August, and this is their first time to really get to go do anything. So they're looking forward to actually getting to go to a meet. And the discus, you know, we're just looking to uh, forward to having a meet. Those, you know, Corey and Kyron, those are they're really two specialty events. So we're just looking forward to, to getting a meet under the belt and uh, going out there and having some fun. Thank you very much, Coach Heimerman. Thank you.